Memories of Relationships Past. When you remember past relationships, do you think of your former partners fondly? Or are you still bitter, angry, or hurt? If you're holding on to the painful memories and choosing to forget the good times you had together, you're only hurting yourself. One of my favorite television shows is Harry's Law, a courtroom drama starring the exceptionally talented Kathy Bates. In a recent episode, Bates' character Harry must confront her memories, good and bad, of her first husband. You see, her husband has died and it seems that Harry was the closest person to him. She begrudgingly identifies his body but doesn't have much nice to say about him. She hasn't seen him in 20 years, but she still seems angry. She even notes that he had a knack for driving everybody away. When the funeral director asks her about preparation, she tells him, just dig the hole. When he asks how many people might attend the funeral, she replies, counting him, one. Then, one of Harry's staff attorneys asks her about Arthur, her husband. Harry explains that she was his legal secretary and that he insisted she go to law school because she would be good at it. As she reminisces, she also notes that he was a drunk, a gambler, a womanizer, and the biggest scoundrel she ever met. Then with a big smile on her face, she adds that he was one hell of a party. This got me thinking about a chapter in my forthcoming book, How to Gracefully Exit a Relationship. I discussed the importance of focusing on the positive memories we have of past partners. What brought us together? What we found attractive about them? and the happy times we had along the way. Many of us spend years seething over the circumstances around a breakup, thinking about how unhappy we were in the end. But we rarely think far back enough to remember the good times. And there must have been good times, or those relationships wouldn't have existed in the first place. When we focus on the positive aspects of those past loves, we are free from the painful baggage that many of us continue to carry around. When Harry digs further back into her memory past what must have been an ugly divorce, to a time when she wanted to be married to this man, she discovers that he had a profound influence on her life, and even who she is today. How beautiful. When remembering your past relationships, try to focus on the memories that are pleasant, empowering, and positive. You might even require help from a third party or inspiration from old photos or letters. That's okay. The experience is powerful, and so are you. In the end, Harry had the following message engraved on her ex-husband's tombstone. Arthur Korn, beloved son, husband, scoundrel. Hey, who knows? Add father, and one day my headstone might read very similarly. Until next time, keep rising. This is Frank Love.